The Ventus docking station has the ability to accept either a pumped instrument or non-pumped instrument. First we're going to go over the diffusion mode or otherwise known as non-pumped. To get it set up to accept a non-pumped instrument, you need to first move our flipper into position so that it is showing a X over a fan. Included in your kits will be a flipper lock. If you're only using diffusion instruments, you can go ahead, place this lock into the docking station cradle, and it will keep this flipper from folding down at any time. You also then have your lid at the top, which will fold down over top of the instrument. To dock your diffusion instrument or non-pumped Ventus in the Ventus docking station, go ahead and slide it into the cradle, making sure that these two prongs are holding at the top of the instrument. Then go ahead and flip your lid down and into place. A yellow light will illuminate showing that it is discovering the instrument. Once it is done discovering the instrument, the instrument will run through a bump test, calibration, or whatever is appropriate. So to bump test the instrument, you'll just insert the instrument into the docking station, close the lid, and the docking station will go ahead and discover the instrument. You'll see the docking station go from discovering to other screens here in a moment. On the screen of the instrument, you will see it communicating with the docking station via a little communication icon in the bottom right hand corner. Next it will read the instrument settings, making sure that you have the appropriate gas applied to the docking station. Next it will update any instrument settings that it needs to update. It will then go to testing the instrument. A bump test is used to test the audio, visual, and vibrating alarms on the instrument to make sure that they respond to the gas in an appropriate amount of time. Once it has completed the bump test, you will get a green light and you will be good to go. To do a calibration, per your schedule, you'll just dock your instrument, close the lid, and the docking station will discover the instrument, read what it needs to have done, and it will then go ahead and do a calibration on the unit. It then reads the instrument settings to make sure that the appropriate gas is hooked up to the docking station so that it can complete the calibration properly.
Unlike bump tests, calibrations are there to verify the accuracy of the sensors. The instrument will then calibrate. Industrial Scientific recommends that you calibrate your instruments once a month or every 30 days and you bump test your instrument before each day's use. Once the docking station completes calibration, the instrument will turn back off and you will get a green light on the docking station if it has passed. When you have an instrument docked within your DSX docking station, the buttonology will change. If you press and hold your middle button and release it, you now get an instrument option on the menu. By choosing the instrument option using the middle button, it then shows you the ability to force a bump test, force a calibration, force data log download and to clear a data log on the instrument. When we force the bump test or calibration on the instrument it will go ahead and prompt you making sure that you are sure that you want to complete this action. To say yes just hit the enter button again and the instrument will automatically start going through the appropriate test. That's all for bump testing and calibrating the MX4 on the DSX docking station. Thanks for watching and be safe.